can match your greatness who can know your power who can search your riches who can deny you a crown lord of all you are crowned king of africa you are crowned lord of all you are crowned king of africa who can deny you a crown lord of all king of kings Bayetin Kosi, Bayetin Kosi, King, King of Kings. Who can match your greatness? Who can know your power? Who can search your riches? Who can deny you a crown, Lord of all? King of Africa, you are crowned, Lord of all, you are crowned, King of Africa, who can deny you a crown, Lord of all. Oh, Bayete, Bayete Nkosi, Bayete, King of Kings, Bayete, Bayete Nkosi, Bayete Nkosi, King. King of Kings. Oh, Bayete, Bayete Nkosi, Bayete, King of Kings, Bayete, Bayete Nkosi, Bayete Nkosi, King, King of Kings, King of Kings, King of Kings, King of Bayete, King of Africa. We sang that a few weeks ago in Encounter, but I wanted to start with it today because in a few days here in South Africa, we have our elections, the seventh democratic elections, and the country is abuzz, wondering what's going to happen. And I wanted to remind us today that he is crowned King of Africa and he's crowned King of South Africa, that Jesus is our King and that, yes, we, we want to vote for a political party that's going to affect good, we do. It's part of our responsibility. But I want us to be reminded that God is in control, whatever happens. Whichever people come into power, God is the King of South Africa. And I love that song, Who Can Deny? That He is crowned Lord of all. Do you remember in Matthew 28 at the end, uh, we read on Ascension Day, we read this, that Jesus ascended into heaven and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Jesus has the authority. Jesus is king. We can worship him today and trust in him. And so I want to sing some South Africa type songs today. Those of you who join from overseas, I hope that you'll still stick around and sing with us and maybe pray with us today uh, as we prepare for an important week. And as we just remind ourselves here that our hope is in Jesus, in this next song we're going to say Jesus is the life and hope to heal our land. And this song is called Jabulani. And Jabulani is a Zulu word which means rejoice. Rejoice. Bayete, which we sang earlier, meant hail or, or yes, hail Jesus. Whereas Jabulani, which we're going to sing now, means rejoice. And so friends, our country has been through a lot and we certainly have a long way to go still. But we can rejoice because whatever happens, we believe Jesus is our king and he is our hope. Come, let's sing this one together. Jesus, life and hope to heal our land. Savior, reaching out with your mighty hand. Sing for joy, O oh Africa. The Lord your God is risen upon you. Sing for joy, O oh Africa. The Lord your God is risen upon you now. 
Jabulani, Jabulani, Africa. Jabulani, Jabulani, Africa. Jesus, the river of life to our thirsty land. Savior, meeting our needs with your mighty hand. Sing for joy, O Africa, the Lord your God is risen upon you. Sing for joy, O Africa, the Lord your God has risen upon you now. O Jabulani, Jabulani, Africa. Jabulani, Jabulani, Africa. Jabulani, Jabulani, Africa. It's Jabulani, Jabulani, Africa. Lord, as your people, people of God, we proclaim today that you, Jesus, are our hope. You're the life and hope to heal this land. And Lord, here in South Africa, we need your healing. We need your grace to come and flood this land. As you reach out your mighty hand to us, Lord, we want to take it. And I pray that you will raise up godly leaders who will come into power and do good, will use their position to govern this country with compassion and with love and integrity. Father, I pray, I pray that you will rid our country of evil leaders and corrupt leaders, selfish leaders who care nothing for the people. I pray, Lord, that you will bless our land with people who will work for good, who will bring the ways of Jesus into every aspect of our lives here in South Africa. We know, Lord, that we can sing for joy because you have, you have blessed our country in many ways. But we also know that the evil of those who are in charge has brought us down. And so we ask you to let your river of life flow into our thirsty land and come and meet our needs with your mighty hand, Lord. And remind us that we can trust you, that we can sing for joy, even though things have got a long way to go, that we need not get caught up in negativity and complaining that we can trust in you, and trusting in you, we can go into the world and into South Africa to do good in your name. And so we sing Jabulani, we rejoice, and as we look forward, we trust in you for what's going on, and we pray that in your time you will bring healing to our land. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. South Africa's national flag is interesting. It's got these six different colors. Theoretically, the red, blue, and white is said to represent the white people, the English and Afrikaans people. And the yellow, black and green is said to represent the ANC or the black and other cultures, other races. My gran had a sticker on the back of her car with the South African flag and it had this little rhyme. My heart was black with sin till Jesus Christ came in. And that pointed to the little black part. His precious blood I know has washed me white as snow. And of course there it was pointing to the red. And as in grace I grow, to heaven I shall go, for in God's word I'm told I'll walk on streets of gold. And that was pointing to the gold or the yellow. Others talk about the red representing the blood of the people who fought for freedom and that sort of thing. But we really have a very special country and it's still a pretty Christian country. Um, there's less... Hardcore atheism, if I can put it that way, here than I think in America and Europe, from what I can tell. Uh, we can still worship very freely. There's not as much liberalism around, although it's coming. And, you know, our country needs prayer. We're praying. I think all of us here are praying day after day for things to get better, for this once beautiful land which has been scarred by corruption and crime so much to be healed and to, to be a godly place in all ways. It's going to have to start at the top. A fish rots from the head, right? Well, that's what's happening here, sadly. But there's still hope. It's not as if 
we are just falling apart completely. There's still a lot of hope. Now, I remember writing this next song on a train when I was going to lecture. I was lecturing in Pretoria. I would take the train. And it was around about the time of the elections as well. And I was just praying for our country, praying, praying. Eventually, I got stuck. I didn't know what to say. And I just kept saying, God bless South Africa. God bless South Africa. And the next thing I'd written this song. I play a very subdued version now, but originally it's quite upbeat and hopefully quite rousing. And this came out on my album, I Owe You Everything. So you can go and look for that on Spotify and everywhere else. But this is a prayer for South Africa, and especially this week, it's pretty pertinent. God bless South Africa, Lord heal our land. God save South Africa, we're in your hands, we are your children, you are our God, protect our nation, God bless South Africa. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. We need you to intervene. So let God's people rise as one to take a stand to save our land. God bless South Africa, Lord heal our land, God save South Africa, we're in your hands, we are your children, you are our God, protect our nation. God bless South Africa. This is our country, this is our home. We need Jesus to wash us clean. So let your mercy rain on us We need you now We need you now God bless South Africa We need you now We need you now We need you now We need you now God bless South Africa Lord heal our land God save South Africa we're in your hands we are your children you are our god protect our nation god bless south africa god bless south africa Lord, hear our prayer. We need Jesus to come and wash us clean. We need your Holy Spirit to come into our land and flow into people's hearts and create a great revival. Lord, raise up your church. We as the people of God 
commit to, to going into the land here in South Africa and spreading your goodness, not spreading negativity, not complaining and moaning and not working for justice and goodness. Lord, we want to see the evil come to an end. We want to see healing. We want to see safety. We want to see flourishing and goodness. We pray, we pray, we pray that you come and intervene. And we pray for Wednesday. We pray that good people will get voted in. We pray that you will remove the scourge from the land, remove the selfish and sinful, careless leaders, and bring us those who care for this country. God bless South Africa. This is our home. This is our home. This is our country. We need you now. So come, I pray, and bless us in this land. Well, do you believe that God is the Lord of our future here in South Africa? Do you believe that he is going to lead us forward and heal, or do you believe he's abandoned us? Some people say South Africa's too far gone, and everyone better just get out. But friends, I believe that he's the God of our future. And this is a song that I discovered a few years back when I was in the Methodist church, written by Viv Harris, who was a Methodist minister. And uh, he wrote this song, and with the help of his church organist, put down some chords and put a melody to it. And I remember recording this a few years back when we were online. This was in the COVID days when we were recording worship. And I was still using my phone, so you'll see the quality is not so good. But look at the words of the song. And friends, as we prepare for Wednesday and prepare for the future of this country, let's claim God as the Lord of our future. This word talks about leaving the past behind and building a new future with God at the center. And that's what I want to be part of here. I don't want to be part of a looking back anymore. I want to be part of a looking forward and seeing how God forges a new country, a new land, a new people here. A true Christian people in a true Christian land. That's what this song says. And I love that line about how that's what our desire is for this country. So enjoy this song. And maybe you'll remember it if you were in Northfield Methodist or one of those Benoni Methodist churches in, these, in those days. This is the Lord of our future. Isn't that special? 
Aren't those great words? Maybe you want to take that song to heart and start praying those words regularly for our country. I know those words often come to my mind when I pray for South Africa. and Maybe you want to uh, do that as well. Now, the big verse that always goes around at this time in our history, whenever there's a vote or whenever there's anything uh, important, the, the verse that always goes around is 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, which says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. And we love, every country loves applying this to their country when it comes to times like this. Of course, in context, God was writing to the Jews of that time and saying, you know, come back to me, return to me, and I will heal you. But if you stray from me, things are going to go wrong from you. And as I look at South Africa, that's what I see has happened. Godly values have been discarded, and selfishness has come to the center. Corruption has come to the center. And so the land is starting to fall apart, or it has fallen apart to a large extent. And I believe that those words are true for us too, that God says, if you will turn to me and repent, pray, I will hear from heaven, I'll heal your land if you'll return. And so we're praying again for the church, the people of God, to rise up and turn from all those sinful ways, so that as the people of God, we might affect his healing in this land. Of course, he's the one who does it, but he'll use us in a great way if we stand up and go and confront just, uh, injustice, and go and confront the evil that we see. Friends, pray for us. Pray for your country. Pray for South Africa. And pray that his love will be shed among us. So we're going to close with this song, which is often a benediction. We, we sing this as a benediction. I think at Benoni Central Methodist, we always used to close with this. And it says, let there be love shared among us. But it always talks about this nation. May now your love sweep this nation. And may now bright hope sweep this nation. And your peace calm this nation. Will you sing this with me as we close as a prayer over our country for this week ahead? Because you know what? Things get tense at this time, don't they? When there's such a big thing going on. Let's pray that God comes and just releases his love and his peace and his hope over our nation. And let's remember to walk forward in hope and in peace and in the knowledge that Jesus is our king. And in the end, no matter who gets voted in, we still trust in God's plan for this place. Sing this one with me. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in our eyes. May now your love sweep this nation. Cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding of deep Christian love that is real. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love. Let there be hope shared among us. Let there be hope that never dies. May now bright hope brace this nation and cause us, O Lord, to rise. Give us a fresh understanding of enduring hope that is real. Let there be hope shared among us. Let there be hope. Let there be peace here among us. A bright shining light in our skies. May now your peace calm this nation. Cause us, O oh Lord, to rise. Give us a fresh understanding of heart-stilling peace that is real. Let there be peace shared among us. Let there be Yes, Lord, may your love sweep this nation. May your hope 
brace this nation and keep us standing firm. May your peace calm this nation as we trust in you to lead us forward. And Lord, may we arise. May your love and your hope and your peace cause us, O Lord, to arise and transform this country from the inside out. And so, O God, in the words of Trevor Huddleston's famous prayer, God bless Africa. God, her people, guide her leaders, and give her peace. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me here today. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and share this one around, why don't you, especially this week, as we are having such a significant week here in South Africa. Thank you, and God bless you guys for supporting me and for being part of my ministry. Take care, and let's go do our part as God's people in South Africa.